What's up, everybody? We are back, and it is great to be here as usual. Um, yeah, today we are going to be continuing our Wolfenstein The New Order second playthrough. Uh, we're doing the Fergus run, as you all know. And uh, yeah, we're going to jump right into the game. I've been having a good day so far. Good, relaxing Saturday. I hope you all are as well. I'm going to throw a hello, hello in chat. And give you guys a good cheer. Got, got my coffee right here. Branding. Mirrored branding. It'd be kind of interesting if I got the words written in mirror, like image, in reverse on the back of this cup. <laughs> so that it would show up <laughs> readable on screen. Uh, but yeah, okay. Let's go ahead and pick up where we left off. Which if you're new here, would be on the moon. We are, of course, the batshit crazy BJ Blaskowitz. And we are currently engaged in illegal activities on the surface of the Nazi owned moon base. Oh yeah, this has been quite the game so far. I've really been enjoying, um, especially our second playthrough as well, I've really enjoyed. It's given me the chance to kind of find out more things about this this whole world, um, really dig into the lore that they've obviously painstakingly put into the into every, every inch of this whole place. Um, and see the second timeline, which is something I had no idea even existed, but clearly does. Um... Which is super cool. The whole new character with Tekla. Is that her name? Tekla? Use the laser craft work cutting mode to cut and progress through thin metal covers. I had no idea. No, yeah, I, I completely knew. Exactly. That you could do that. It actually took me so long to figure out how to get into this area last time we played through here, which is ridiculous because it's super easy. You just walk through this stuff. But, like, I had no idea. It took me so long because without getting in here, you can't press this button to get through those doors out there. You can't get this delightful throwing knife. That guy was kind of hard to kill. Oh! <laughs> I did not realize that you could break this glass. Go! Cool. And I don't believe we have the map this area yet. We don't. So I think we're going to try and... Oops. They're gonna try and pick that up as as we start moving forward. Hey, what's up, Beacon? I hope you are having a delightful day as usual. I've been enjoying my Saturday. Got some good relaxing in. As everyone needs every once in a while. Study New World Peace New World Peaceful and Prosperous. Prosperous. Berlin. November 15th, 1960. The world has never been more peaceful than it is right now. New study proves. I love how they add these like <laughs> these bits of like clearly warped statistics and um, propaganda into these newsletters. Okay, let's go search around this other place. Yes, my day has been very good. Nice. That is what I like to hear. I wonder if we can get back into this. Seems like we probably could somehow. I don't think we can break this. How am I? I am great. Like I said, I had a pretty rel- That knife sticks in plexiglass apparently, or bulletproof glass. Pretty relaxing day, which has been kind of nice. Oh, I, I love this gun. 
It's like a rechargeable automatic laser sniper rifle. <laughs> Which is super badass. Yeah, I'm ready to... <laughs> I'm ready to try and attempt to beat this game on Uber. Because it was... It was kind of ridiculous, the final boss, uh, on the regular difficulty. And I can only imagine how bad it's going to be on this difficulty. Although, it might... It, because we've... <laughs> an upgrade! Hell yeah, right? Currently on the moon, just relaxing. <laughs> A nice Nazi swastika right over there. But yeah, the final boss of this game was rough on the difficulty below this. But it was poss it was partially because we didn't know what the goal, like how to beat the final boss. We didn't know what we were trying to achieve. Um, and it eventually turned out that you just... Oh. That was kind of a failure. I would like my throwing knife back, but I don't know where it went. Oh, no? Yeah, it ended up the goal of, the, of beating the final boss was actually just to wait it out. Like, keep continually doing damage, and I think it was on a timer. And so we, it took us a really long time to figure out. We just had to sit there and DPS it for an extended period of time. All right, you gotta be careful. This guy could see us over this little ledge. There he goes. Wait. No. No, don't set the alarm off. Oh, we got him. Cool. Okay. Oh. Please relax. That worked. They actually never set the alarm off. This one soldier was standing there and saw us kill the other guy. Oh, this guy's dead. And so it actually, he started yelling the alarm, but the other guy, the guy who actually can set the alarm off, didn't hear him yelling until, until it was too late. Which worked out very nice. There's probably one more person in here, maybe? No, looks like we're good. This sniper rifle, unfortunately, doesn't recharge automatically like our other gun does. So we have to actually go around killing people to grab the recharges, or find a recharge station like the one down here. Let's grab some more suppressed pistol ammunition, because we're going to need that for some of these future... Oh, there's a... Um... A collectible up there. For some of these future missions where you have to silently kill the people. Okay, it's right next to where we're standing. Oh! It's the map! I think. I think that's what that was. Yeah. Let's check how... Let's see how our collectibles are. Uh, for this... This map. This chapter. Whoa, actually, I think I remember stating this earlier. Really, really good. The only thing we haven't found is a health upgrade, one treasure towards the end of the level, and then also one enigma kind of in the middle. So we're going to be looking out for those. By the way, nice cheers to you, Ekin. Hope your night slash morning goes and is going well, as I said before. Let's, we're going to just look around here for some general um, general loot. We want to make sure our armor is maxed out at a uh, hundred before we move forward. I like these little things. They're they're by and large useless. Like I haven't actually been able to explode them on anyone ever, but they're kind of fun to just set off. 
Oh, nice. Another throwing knife. Explosion. We also... We also want to try and assassinate people with overcharged health. Something we've not been doing enough recently, and so we haven't had... We haven't been able to fill out this perk right here. This one. Vampirism. Or stealth knife kills. We need to actually get a lot more of those. Oh, uh, only four, so not really a lot, but... Okay, let's go ahead and make our way out. I think the door is right there. We're going to take this giant gun with us, just in case we can't sneak up on people. Bringing a giant gun along for the ride is always useful. Oh, it's kind of a weird, weirdly positioned pipe. Let's check our weapons, make sure we're full. Uh, let's go ahead and recharge this while we have the chance. You know, we really should leave our dual ones out since we can't really... There's no real sco scope to speak of anyway. Playing Pokemon Black and locking on you killing food in armor. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Goo! Goo! Good. <laughs> I gotcha. <laughs> food in armor. Pigs in armor! The, <laughs> the best type of food. One might even call it bacon. <laughs> Nancy bacon. <laughs> Oh god. Quite disturbing. Yeah, let's let's just go ahead and leave this here. Let's get out our suppressed pistol. Might be useful later. We can run back here. Actually, grenades. Bacon. We're going to leave this here so when this door closes it doesn't lock it away from us. Nope, nope, nope. Go to sleep now. Alright. So there's gonna be a guy right here. We're just gonna go ahead and stab. Wait, he didn't die? What? Chat, you saw nothing. But you're tired? I'm guessing that's what you meant to say. Or maybe you did mean to say tied. Ooh, more armor. Let's grab these grenades. These will be very useful, especially when we're trying to kill this giant guy in a second but you're but I'm not tied tired yeah that's what I thought that is what I thought all right let's go ahead and kill this guy there we go that was the intended result. <laughs> Oops. So there is a secret passageway we can get through right in here. That will kind of lead us directly to the next guy. Oh, come on. Nice, okay.
think the other guy's right across from us right here. Yep, there he is. Cool, and that's both of them. Now, I kind of want to just murder all these guys. And... Including the giant guy. And loot for some grenades as well. I think this one leads into the other guy's apartment. Yeah, this should be... Yeah, we, we just killed him in here. Well, good. I'm glad. I'm glad to hear that you're not tired. Oh shit! We could have gone straight to the. That's creepy. Didn't we didn't even realize that when we were initially coming through here. It's creepy that there's a ventilation there's a ventilation shaft this large right into someone's room from this from behind the food vendor. That's really weird. <laughs> Let's see if we can kill this kill this guy. There we go. Oh Sir. Calm down with the guns. Grab some extra health. That should be it for this area, I think. I believe we've gotten all the collectibles out of here, because we've, by and large, collected most things um, from the entire moon base as a whole. We can kind of just run through most of this area. Making sure to shoot the exploding gas vents on our way on our way through. That looks weird. Wait. Oh, this is not the correct way to go. And here is the ventilation shaft our dear Anya spoke of. Now, there shouldn't be anybody in here, but then there's going to be another stealth mission right up behind when, where we come out of this vent. I do believe. We have plenty of throwing knives. We should be able to get the last three for that perk um, within the next ten minutes, five minutes even. Yeah, here we go. You saw nothing. You also saw nothing. And you saw nothing. I meant at the game, when you kill the pig, you said go to sleep. Oh, <laughs> I got you. But you don't want to go to sleep. But Ekin, you're no pig. You're no Nancy. <laughs> sleep is for the weak and Nancy's. <laughs> oh, there's one more guy. There we go. <laughs> pig answer. But I'm not tired. <laughs> I gotcha, I gotcha. Make sure we pick up all of our knives. We did we did get that perk as well. So now the objective we're gonna focus on is trying to get this last stealth perk. Um, so we have to overcharge our health and then actually stealth kill them, not throw knives at them. So walk up behind them and stab them. Auto save. Yes, I do. Not sleep. I'm not a pig. That's right. 
That's why you never sleep. I understand now. I always wondered. Oop. We actually need to hurry with this one to get this guy. I was busy drinking my coffee. Oh no, we don't have to hurry with this guy. That's the next area. That is the next area. Okay, so that that's one kill on overcharged health. Should be fairly easy. We have quite a quite a few to go, I believe. Oh, actually only four. Not too bad. I don't think there's any collectibles in here. But the two the two dudes are in here. I think we're going to have to nail the first one with a throwing knife. He's right above us. And then try and get the second one with a stealth kill. Got one. And we actually don't even have overcharged health anymore. Oh, we do now, though. So this could work. Why is Ikan not asleep? Answer, he is not a pig. He is a snake. <laughs> That's true. Oh, shit. We actually had to end up knifing him as well. Because he was going to see us, and the alarm was going to go off. Can you find it? That is true. He is a, a snake Pokemon. Alright. Shouldn't be anything else in this room. We should have looted everything. <clears throat> Playing Pokemon Black. I haven't played Pokemon in a very long time. I used to love those games. But as they... But as the, um... As Nintendo released new systems, like the DS's and the 3DS's and all that, I stopped investing in the system to buy, and therefore I had to stop investing in the game. Alright, here is the ventilation shaft. Actually, let's go Let's go back and grab our throwing knives as well, before we continue forward. Hmm. Where did we leave them? I could have sworn we had like four of them. Maybe not. Oh, here, here's one we left. Actually, this is good. We grabbed... You're playing Pokemon on your PC? Just an emulator? I did go back and play some emulators about six months ago. Yeah, okay, that's what I thought. Can't remember which one. I think I went and played Emerald. Alright. Whew, that was kind of hurt. I really fell down that thing. Alright. We're looking for stuff to overcharge our health with. It's interesting, we got this perk at about this time in the game last last go round as well. Okay, so we're we're just going down down this tunnel. I don't even know if there's anyone in here, so we have to be careful because when I don't think there's anyone around, that's usually when most people are around. Oh, is that a treasure? Oh shit, it looked golden from from above. Nice health. If there's someone up here that we can kill... Damn. No. There's not. But maybe there is here? No. Wait. What the hell? Oh, there we are. I was like, where's the exit? Is the newest PM game you can play on a PC. Gotcha, interesting. Yeah, I always kind of wondered like what the rules were on emulation and all that. Like if Nintendo was okay with newer games, obviously really new games, they're not gonna let you emulate, but how